Hi, welcome to Angelska Lita. This is Riza. Our grammar lesson today is very interesting. We will learn more about do, does, did, and their negative forms. You will also learn in this lesson how to use them in the different sentences, how you'll be able to apply them in your conversations. We are here now for the grammar do, does, did, and their negative forms. Before we start, let's try to understand how we will use them. Do, does, and did. It is also common to use do, does, and did as auxiliary verbs together with another verb in its base form. This is used to create negative sentences, negative questions, or for adding emphasis. When are we going to use do in a sentence? We use the auxiliary verb do when the subject is represented by the pronouns I, you, we, or they in the sentence, or when the verb is in its present tense form. So, for examples, you have you walk. While it's negative form, we can say you do not walk or he don't walk. Why did we use do here? Because of the subject pronoun, which is you. Our next example is, I swim every day. Our subject here is I, which is pronoun I. And then, for this negative part, you can say, I do not swim every day. Or, you can say, I don't swim every day. We use do not here or don't because of our subject I. And the verb, which is in its present tense. Next, let's proceed to when to use does in a sentence. We use does when the subject is he, she, or it. Or these are pronouns. We add does at the beginning to make the affirmative sentence a question. Or also, you can say when the verb is in its present tense form. Let's try to check out some examples that would help us understand it better. So I have here for the first example, we could say, Does she need to go to school today? For the negative sentence, you can say, she does not need to go to school today. Can you guess where is the negative form of does there? You're correct. That is the word does not. Or you could make it into a shortcut form, which is she doesn't need to go to school today. Next, when to use did in a sentence? Or how are we going to find out if we are using did correctly? We use the auxiliary verb did when the subject is represented by the pronouns, which are I, you, we, she, he, it, or they in the sentence. Or you could also remember when the verb is in its past tense form. So I'm going to help you out learning how we could use did in a sentence. Our first sentence is, did she answer the quiz yesterday? For the negative form, you can say, she did not answer the quiz yesterday. We use did not because of the pronoun she and the action happened yesterday. Or you can say, she didn't answer the quiz yesterday. Next, for the next example, we have, did he tell you my secret last night? In its negative form, you can say, he did not tell me your secret last night. So in this sentence, we use the word did not because of our subject, which is he and the action happened last night. You could also say he didn't as a shortcut for did not. So you could do it like this. He didn't tell me your secret last night. Now that you know how to use them in your different conversations, you'll be able to learn more when you check out our website at angilska.alita and book your lessons there. So hope to see you soon for our next lesson. Bye!